Okay, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're here for another opening reaction. Opening ending reaction. So this time, we're here for Noragami. I know this is a bit of an older show. I think it came out in about 2015. It's got two episode seasons. The manga is complete. I've heard a lot of people really enjoy this series. And when, I, when I've looked up like other anime opening reactions, this one always gets a lot of attention. So I thought... Why not give it a check out myself? I've heard literally nothing about this series. I couldn't even tell you the baseline stuff about it. I see the three main characters over in the picture I have right there on the side. That's all I know. I know there's three main characters. That is quite literally the only information I could give you on this series. With that being said, I'm excited to see what these openings and endings have for in store. There's only two of them, two openings, two endings. Although I did see opening one has a version two. I'm not sure if it's an official version two, but it said version two, so I thought I would check that out as well. So, without further ado, let's hop straight into Noragami OP1. Okay. I love the guitars. I did hear, I did see this was like an action show. Oh, and it's done by Bones too, which is interesting. Interesting. I love the stylization of this OP. Like the characters are all black and white except for like some very minor details. Okay, so this is our three main characters here. That girl's got like some kind of tail or something. Ooh. Oh, okay. So like that text on his body like did something. Maybe it's an ability. <laughs> okay. So there's some between that guy and that little girl there. Anima animation production bones. That was interesting. I, like I said, know absolutely jack about this series, but looks pretty good to me. Uh, so before I like talk about the OP, I'm just gonna go straight in and watch the second version, and then I'll talk about that OP as a whole. All right, let's try and spot the difference here. Does this one look better quality? Maybe the last video I watched just didn't have very good quality. I have no idea. I also like the like different colored subtitling and stuff they're doing. So far, it looks the same. Hey, song's a bop. I'm not complaining. So these are clearly our main three. I love if she could just materialize guns. It's an interesting ability. Yeah, this is all the same. Okay, well, there's your difference right there. Was him standing in front of like a more grown up looking character. Not sure if I'd call that a version 2, really, but it's different, I guess. I don't think I would call that a version 2, but it is different. <laughs> All right, those were those were very very intriguing. I actually thoroughly enjoyed the that. Well, I say those as if it was a different OP. It was really just the first OP was very solid. I don't really have much to say. Like I said, I know nothing about this series. We've got our like main characters. One guy has got like a thing on his shoulder that when he like speaks, it like materializes and like I don't know, turned him into light or something. Then you got the girl who has like a cat ability, and then we got our main guy who was using a sword. And you've got the girl who can, like, materialize guns. A lot of interesting characters. Like, it's clearly an action show. I just don't know what kind of action show it is exactly. <laughs> um, but without further ado, let's get straight into the first ED. Oh, 
Maybe it's gonna be an OP about uh, the tail girl. Like I said, I know nothing about the CD, so I couldn't tell you their names or anything. Yeah, that's an ED about her. You hurt everything you touch is a very intriguing lyric. Who is the guy popping out of the trash can back there? I feel like they've shown those, like, traffic lights in both uh, the OP and the ED. Okay, those are our other two guy main characters. Oh god. I mean, it's just the typical, like, character running in the ED. I can't sit here and say it's anything special, but I've never, I've never hated EDs like that. Oh, covering him with the umbrella. Whoa, that was such a abrupt ending. That caught me so off guard. That was really good, though. I, I like the, uh, I like it. It's, it's a very basic as far as EDs go, but I think that's fine. I think a basic ED is totally fine. Like the girls just running in the ED, which happens, which weirdly happens in a lot of anime endings, but it was accompanied by a very nice song. And of course, I don't have the context to who this girl is or what her importance is to the story. So maybe, it'll, maybe it hits harder if you actually know details of the story. Okay. Ooh. I, I already really like this one. I really like the guitars there. I'm also pretty sure this anime is done. Like, I, I, when I checked it, it had a pretty short manga. So I think it might be completely done. Just want to hold your hand. There's that girl who can materialize guns again. Yeah, there he, he I don't know what that ability does. Oh, it looks like he's fighting gun girl again. Some new characters. Oh, it's still going. I thought it was going to end there. Once again, the like train traffic thing. That's been shown in like every of these openings so far. That It's so weird. That like train traffic thing with like the girl looking across it at like the guy or whatever. It's been shown in both. I'm pretty, pretty sure it's been shown in like every single one of the openings and endings so far. I wonder what significance it implies to the story. But that that was my favorite OP. I liked the first OP, but that was that was the better OP in my opinion. Like the beginning guitar and how it like faded out like the OP was going to stop and then it cut into another fight was really cool. I really like that a lot. Another calm ED. And again, that's usually how endings go. Usually on the more calm side of things. Oh, You don't really see this much in the first uh, two OPs in ED. Just like calm downtime with them. You don't really see that very much. So this is an ending about him. Oh, never mind. She's just up there on the wall. I still ha still have to wonder what that tale is exactly. <laughs> hmm. I is like. Oh yeah, now it's him running. That's interesting. The parallels between the first ED where it was her running and in this one it's him running.
Oh, he looks kind of beat up. Let's get those cuts on his face. Thanks, Funimation. Pretty good. I like seeing the more like peaceful moments because we hadn't really seen a single one of these openings have like peaceful moments with our characters, but that was good. That was really good. Overall, overall these are really good. I don't really know how to describe it honestly, but I, I especially like the second opening. I don't really have much to say because I don't know anything about the show. Maybe you guys could fill me in more on some, some more details about like the characters and stuff like that. But it seems like there's a weirdly heavy focus on like that train track and like the rail guards with the lights blinking. It seems like there's a weirdly strong focus on that. That was visualized in both the first and second OP and the first ED as well. So that's interesting. Overall though, I've heard this show is pretty damn good. A lot of people seem to really, really like it. And as far as opening and en opening and endings go, endings go, these were bops. Like I said, the endings were more on the basic side of things, but that that's fine. They had really, really solid songs accompanying them in the back. And as far as the OPs go, I think the, my, the second OP is my favorite. I really, really enjoyed that. But I think that is going to wrap it up for my reaction to Noragami's openings and endings. Hope you guys did enjoy and I hope you all have a good day.